Hello everyone, and today what I want to show you is a neat web resource called FrontRoad.com. Uh, using this resource, you can uh, quiz students and do diagnostics based upon uh, Common Core standards. So let me show you what it kind of looks like. I already created an account here. You can create one right here if you don't have one. Once you sign in, you're brought to the teacher dashboard. Now, this is the free version. And you're already, you just assigned one class, all right? So you only assigned one. You could put your students down here in the class roster. To add a student, you simply just click Add Student. And then you could type a name. Then you pick a grade. Now, what I have discovered, it looks kind of with the free one, you want to make sure you put them all at the same grade. Because if I pick a lower grade, it's going to base everything in the whole program off the lowest student. So you'd want to put everyone in the same grade. So if you have students that are working on different levels, the program actually uh, looks like it adapts for the students. So you'd want to make sure that you kind of put everyone in the same one. All right. So I have that in there. You can always go back and you can edit a student if you name something incorrectly. But it's pretty simple to put all those in there. It just takes a little time to get them all set up but then you're good to go. Now, the way you get students to log in is they're going to go to another website and they use their first name, last name, and then this code right here to log into the website. Now let's look at a student login. So if I had Frank, George, and put my class code in there, he's brought to this and ask him what does he want to practice. So this is the point where a teacher would kind of say, you know, maybe today we're working on uh, measurement and data. George would come here. He could say start diagnostic. And it will take him through what he's supposed to do. So for example here, like Jimmy found some acorns below a tree, which acorn is the thinnest. Normally it starts out pretty simple, and then as it goes, it gets a little trickier and trickier. Now students have the ability to do a couple different things. They actually have some space over here to write. So so the fence was 36 sticks long, and the house was 32 sticks long, which is longer. If the student could actually draw it, maybe if they want to, 36. Or they could draw, and then come over here, and actually drag over numbers. So students can have this little whiteboard space to do with as they please. They can also Kelly used the same stick to measure a fence in a house. The fence was 36 sticks long and the house was 32 sticks long. Which is longer, the fence or the house? Option 1, fence. Option 2, house. So you'll see that the program will actually read to the student as they go. So it's really kind of a neat little uh, feature that comes in here. It also comes in with different objects, if there's things that, that they can use. Um, with some of these, uh, especially with the elementary, uh, kind of the lower levels, there will be another option over here often with the video. and It will actually show the students how to solve the problem. But a student can come through here and take the whole thing, and as they answer, they earn coins. You can see I actually lost coins, so that's how I know I got the question wrong. But students can go through this and it will complete the whole thing. Now, as students do this, they'll generate report cards. And you can come in here and it will show you how the student is doing. And I can see George here last week, he answered 13 questions with 100% accuracy. It will tell you what domain he's practicing more. It will also suggest which one he should be working on. So if you get students to do all the diagnostics, it will kind of tell you where their weak point is. Another neat thing that's in here is printables. What this will do is it will actually generate worksheets based on how each student does in their test. So for example, I have Frank George here. And then I have Susan. Now Susan's is based <laughs> really easy. That's because she just hasn't taken anything yet. So we need the students to each get in here and go through and do the whole diagnostic. And then this will adapt to how well they're doing. 
And you'll see often too, like I'll have nice little pictures here for students. So it's kind of a neat little thing that goes through here. But each student is individualized according to how well they do on the tests. You can also go through here and there's different analyses. Um, you can actually put students into certain groups and it will show you where the students are. So it's kind of a neat little feature that you can do in here. Um, but it's very easy to set up and very easy to get students working on it. Now, this works on uh, any Windows device, Macs, um, Chromebooks, but also, because there's some iPad classes out there, this does work on iPads. And let me get my iPad mirrored up here. Bear with me one second, it's coming up. And seven, four, zero, three. So if I wasn't here, you can actually download an app. You see my front row app right there. Opens up, it asks which one I am. I'm going to put a student. So let's do Frank, George. They type the class code in. Now what they do here is they just kind of um, put the two in the two different areas. So I can see here's my basic domains and then the advanced. When they pick one, it'll come up with somewhat pretty much the same screen as the other one, but it's a little bit different. When they find what they want, they can hit answer. Comes with the options on the side. Now one neat thing here is because obviously it's a touch screen, the responsiveness for touch is a little better. They also have the objects there that they can place on the screen if they need to, but pretty much exactly the same. And Katie use the same stick to measure a pair of shorts and a pair of pants. Katie use the same stick to measure. And you can see that it will also read to them. So no matter what device you're using in your classroom, this website is going to work for all students and in a variety of different ways. So if you enjoyed kind of what I'm watching, why not try frontrow.com um, and see what you think. Have a great day.